today all love. Why gold mining is one of the most destructive in industries and unnecessary industries. In a given year, gold mines emit more greenhouse gases than all passenger flights between European nations combined. <clears throat> the 16th century King Ferdinand of Spain sent his subjects abroad with the command get gold humanly if possible but all hazards get gold any at, at any cost get the gold he says his statement rings true today gold remains one of the world's most expensive substances but mining it uh, is one of the most environmental and socially destructive process on the planet around seven percent of gold purchased globally each year is used for industrial technology e or medicine the rest winds up in bank vaults and jewelry shops beautiful objects and stable investments are worth wild things to create and own and often have significant cultural value but neither can justify gold mining staggering human and ecological toll in a recent study, my colleague and I showed that it might be possible to end mining and instead rely entirely on recycled gold. Despite improvements in gold mining practices over the past century and new regulation designed to limit mining impacts, the industry continues to wreak havoc upon landscapes across every continent except Antarctica. So, gold mining is causing a lot of environmental damage. Okay, in a given year, gold mines emit more greenhouse gases than all passenger flights between European nations combined. Gold mining also accounts for 38% of annual global mercury emissions. So, you can know mercury emission is also caused by gold mining which causes millions of small scale miners to suffer from chronic mercury poisoning. So death also is causing deaths, which can cause delibilitating illness, delibilitating illness, especially in children. Our research involved modeling hypothetical scenarios in which gold consumption could decline to more sustainable levels using current recycling rates we examined a fully circular gold economy in which world entire supply of gold come from recycled sources even today nearly one quarter of annual gold demand is supplied through recycling making it one of the world's most recycled material on earth the recycling process uses no mercury and has less than one percent of water and carbon footprint of mined gold. We found that a global decline in gold mining would not necessarily derail any gold three central functions in jewelry, technology or as an investment. Our model showed that the gold used for industrial purpose mainly in dentistry and smartphones could be supplied for centuries even if all gold mining stopped tomorrow. We also found uh, that jewelry could still be produced with recycled gold in a fully circular gold industry. There will just be about 55% less to go around, which would still leave more than enough for essential uses. In order to make this future a reality, investors would have to limit their trading to existing reserves without adding newly mined gold to their coffers. A world with a shrinking supply of gold would likely mean that consumers would pay more for the same 24 karat pure gold ring. But more likely, jewelry purchases would shift to cheaper and more durable alloys of gold that are already popular and in future demand for gold may decline as consumers become more concerned with making sustainable choices. So this is the thing. Huh? The role that invested gold plays in the global economy would likely continue to function regardlessly of extraction. Like Renaissance art, gold is valuable 
precisely because it is scarer. Ending gold mining would not put an end to the buying and selling of gold for bank vaults. Instead, it would make existing stock of gold more valuable. Irrespective of whether the world needs gold or research, suggested the world does not gold need gold mining. Private investors and central banks may <coughs> balk at this idea. The US government, for example, is the world's single largest owner of gold, holding $11 billion in reserve. Ursa. But transitions to sustainability are always hard, one, and the gold industry is no exception. It's just transition, like gold, the extraction of fossil fuel is also environmentally damaging. But unlike gold, fossil fuels provide warmth and electricity to homes and business powers to vehicles and fertilizer to farms. Transitioning away from these resources required decades of research and investment into clean energy technology. By contrast, finding substitutes of for gold does not require any research. Jewelry can be made more sustainably by blending gold with other metals. Investors can rely on existing gold stocks and diversify to other stable assets and technology can continue to use recycled gold when appropriate. Closing gold mine is the first step, but many regions have grown dependent on gold mining and artisanal mining alone supports as many as 19 million miners and their families worldwide, mostly in developing economies. The miners deserve a just transition that ensures they do not become collateral damage in the shift to sustainability. Government must provide a robust safety net for former gold miners and their families that include offering low-cost training and reskilling to ensure that miners can find an employment in more sustainable industries. Steps towards sustainability responsibly drawing down gold extraction will take time. But several measures are available to begin the transition today. On the demand side of the industry, major jewelry brands including Pandora have already committed to using only recycled gold by 2025. Global technology firm Apple has also recently set a goal to use exclusively recycled material by 2030. On the supply side, mining companies should begin retiring mines that extract go only gold. Many copper mines produce gold as a byproduct, which will likely continue into the future. Meanwhile, institutional investors should stop investing in new gold mines. That includes groups like the World Bank, which has invested $800 million in gold mines in Africa, uh, Asia, South America, and Pacific Islands since 2010. Justice-minded fund managers such as those overseeing endowments should add gold mining firms alongside coal producers to their divestment list and central banks should redirect their future investment towards other stable stores of value or at least source exclusively recycled gold. gold. The world is filled with difficult sustainability trade-offs. Gold mining is not one of them. Drawing down these industry standards out as a relatively easy way to reduce humanity's footprint on a fragile planet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your family and friends.